A raft of bills in the state legislature aim to stave off an insurance crisis in Lower Pune. Ten bills, spearheaded by Pune representative Gregor Illigan, propose a wide variety of solutions to a problem that reared its head last year when Universal Property and Casualty Insurance Company of Florida announced that it would withdraw from the state insurance market by the end of August of this year, leaving its roughly 1,000 policyholders in the state most of whom are on the Big Island, in a difficult position. With Universal, one of the last providers offering coverage in Lower Pune, abandoning ship, most homeowners will be left with only one insurance option. The state-run provider of last resort, Hawaii Property Insurance Association, whose yearly rates for basic coverage have ballooned to thousands of dollars. In an effort to forestall this crisis, Illigan's bills, House Bills 2047 through 2056 offer solutions ranging between minor changes to the management of HPIA to sweeping laws governing how insurance providers can operate in Hawaii. We had a lot of ideas, but we've landed on these 10, Illigan said. I know the insurers might not like some of them, but this is hitting my constituents hard. Arguably the most substantial of the bills is HB 2047 which would establish a state-run, lava zone insurance fund, that would help subsidize insurance premiums for certain residents in lava zones 1 and 2. While the current version of the bill does not specify how much money would be allocated to this fund, beneficiaries would be limited to low-income households. Illigan said the fund, if established, would award to eligible households insurance vouchers of an indeterminate value. It could be $200 or it could be more like $1,000. Other bills would directly address insurance providers and how they operate. HB 2053 would establish a cap on premiums for properties located in lava zones 1 and 2 using comparable Big Island properties outside of those zones, while HB 2052 would simply prohibit insurers from refusing to issue coverage to an applicant just because that applicant lives in a lava zone. Another bill, HB 2055, would establish a two-year moratorium on all mortgage foreclosures within lava zones 1 and 2. The state can set rules for how providers can do business in Hawaii, Illigan said, although he noted that, unless handled deftly, measures like this could simply scare providers out of the state entirely. Five of the remaining bills, HB 2048, 2049, 2050, 2051 and 2054, would make changes to HPIA, such as adding another public representative to the association's board, requiring the association to post annual updates about its activities, funding upgrades to its computer systems, expanding its coverage to commercial properties, and requiring it to offer policy packages that don't include volcano-related coverage.